Martin Pepper, a jack of all trades in a workshop. This whole series has been an absolutely amazing, life changing. <laughs> it's time to hit the yard. Uh, can you write that, John? Time to hit the yard? <laughs> Approaching Apogee. There it goes. Look at that. And so what happens is this system will then eject this chute. This is our drug that then is connected to the main chute, which Buster, if still alive, will heavily rely on. We're leaving about 20% of air at the top of this tank, so we have a little bit of room so as the water's heating up, it can expand and also build a bunch of steam pressure so that when the bottom of this tank ruptures, we have almost 100,000 pounds of force driving this straight up in the air. But just then, the pressure in this tank drops, and then most of that water flashes to steam, adding even more propulsion. If I was gonna escape from prison, I sure as would not do this. I'm really excited today, and it cracks me up. It takes me back to when I was a kid with a water bottle rocket, tiny schoolyard, three idiot friends, but now it's a bigger rocket, bigger yard with three idiot friends. Boom! Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, for every PSI that thing was creeping up, that was exponential butterflies in my stomach. But when that thing went off, oh, it was a pure kick to the chest. It was from all that pressure just releasing instantly. And you can see here, Buster died right away. I mean, instead of blaming myself, I just like to blame that strap. When I was a kid, I'd watch these movies and be like, that can't happen. But now I'm on the other side where I have to make it happen. With a clear plan in place. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like squeezing a big zit. Here we go, wipers. Oh man, this is gonna get ugly. Oh baby, nice. And it's getting worse, it's going nowhere. First and foremost, this thing operates beautifully. But we found out one very important thing. These little flappers don't work very well. After our first shot, six balls dropped into place and got shot out. So we have to pull four rods, next four balls fall into place, boom. We can actually fill these rocket tubes with our goop, glue on our little nose cone. In three, two, one. Jeez. It should be twice as stable now since I've doubled the length, which moves the center of mass forward, acting just like a dart. Testing twice the length in three, two, one. Whoa, yes! Look at that, it hit our target. And so this is something that we can even count on. Ready for a systems check, John? You ready? Yeah, bring up the trunk. Oh! That is sexy. I got a bad feeling about this one. Oh! Jeez, and you can feel every single one of them crawling. If I hear a rattler, I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, I don't like these. We're uh, bumping it up a little notch, aren't we, Kyle? Close your mouth. Mm. I love you guys right now. 99 bottles of beer. I got cockroach poop in my mouth. Once I started seeing, it definitely took my mind away of a million things trying to dig into my soul. This is just a glorified, oversized spitball gun. So instead of a chewed up napkin, we're just using this cabbage plug. Instead of a straw, we're using plumbing pipe. And instead of our lungs, we're using a compressor. <clears throat> it smells like coleslaw. And this is the way you remove the whole thing. <laughs> Ready to go. With Martin on a roll, next up, it's the lungs of the cannon. This is our primary air tank that's constantly being filled by the compressor. We need to make sure the entire weld is airproof. All righty, boys, you know the drill here. Uh, let's do this. One of the things we're gonna use to actually catch these needles is a magnetic strip that goes entirely across our ramp. To do that, we have these rare earth magnets, but we don't have a lot of these. So what we gotta figure out is the maximum distance these can be apart and the needles will still get stuck. Hey, 
Wow, this thing's working so well. It's separating out the wheat itself. Oh. Both the vibration and the wind just blowing away the stalks. And the only thing that can fall through is the dense wheat. We're going to have to sift through wheat now to get to our needle. Now, which is your non-dominant hand? They're both dominant, man. So the idea is to try and spring the pawl. But these bobby pins are too big! Come on! Watch Martin bust with the best.